Howdy folks, I hope everybody's fine and well and having a fantastic day. My name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the RGB IC Neon Rope Lights from Govi. Last month we took a look at the Govi M1 LED strip and I thought this was fantastic. So when Govi reached out asking if we wanted to check out this rope light, it was a no-brainer. This has been sent out for review purposes, but it does not affect what I'm going to say at all in this video. These are available in 2, 3, 5, 10 meter variants. They are voice compatible with Google Home and Amazon Alexa. They also have a IP67 waterproof rating so they can be used outside in light weather conditions. And I just have one question, are they actually any good? So in the box you get a Govi quick start guide and a welcome note. The strip comes coiled up nice and neatly with these Govi velcro straps. I mean, we don't buy these kits with the Velcro straps in mind, but it is nice to see that Govi have taken extra steps with the presentation here. The controller is your typical oval shape with the built-in microphone and the 3M sticky tab on the back. You have some basic controls here. It also has both of the cables coming out of one end. This makes more sense on a strip light. The cables are a fair length. Next, we have the power supply. This is a 24 volt power supply and it is the plug type. I do prefer these over the bricks and it's got a nice long cable, so cable management shouldn't be an issue either. Next, we get 25 of these mounting brackets. I also think these have been upgraded. They used to be aluminium. The plastic ones are slightly lighter, so they stick to the wall a little better. And because they're white, they also blend in with the strip a little better as well. And then we have some screws and plugs for some more permanent options. So the strip itself is made from a rubber trunking, which is very soft and flexible and it also has a diffused rubber casing. The controller is permanently attached via this cable, and as you can see, the ends are capped off, so unfortunately, adding extra length to this won't be so easy. It is very soft and flexible though, so creating shapes and designs will be easy. But like I said, unfortunately, they are capped off, so adding extra length to this won't be possible. You can get two strips together, you can control those together in the application, but you won't be able to physically add extra length to them. And can I just take a moment to ask, if you enjoy my content at all, or just enjoy supporting small creators, consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps the channel grow. Also, you can support me by just leaving likes on the videos and getting involved down below in the comments. As a thank you, here's a picture of two of my dogs. This is Jackson and Skye. They're both Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Back to the video then. No wonder these are called neon rope lights. They are pretty darn close to a neon glow. That is very, very bright, guys. I'm not sure the camera will even do this justice. You do have some basic controls from this controller. You can switch the strip on and off. You can also change between music and general modes. You can also change the static colors and a few of the basic modes, but to take full control of this RGB strip, I recommend installing the Govi Home application. You can do this by scanning the QR code on the back of the box in the quick start guide or searching for the Govi Home application in the Google and Apple stores. Once you've installed the application, open it up. You may have a few permissions and stuff that you need to accept if it's your first time. Otherwise, just log in with your Govi credentials. Then you wanna click add device. Scroll down around three quarters of the way to find your particular model. Then you wanna switch the power button on and off on the controller. This just confirms the connection. And then you want to select whether you want to connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The choice is completely up to you. When you get into the application, it will give you a few shape references. You don't need to use any of these, of course, but it's nice to get a bit of inspiration and some ideas to get you started. If you come into the effects lab and to the main tabs here, you can see we've got color gallery, which is our solid colors. You've got your red, rose, orange, different tones of orange, yellows, greens, blue, aqua blues, and purples, again, all different tones. There's also some subsections, so you've got things like ingredients, desserts, some natural environments, some emotions, and things like that. Pretty cool. Then if we come onto the effects lab, you've got your sunrise, which gets brighter over time, sunset, which gets darker over time, forest, rustling forest, some of these are pretty similar, and some of them have multi-options. So, for example, Universe, you've got A and B. This will give you two different effects from the same mode. And if you come back to the homepage, you've got a few more options from Natural and Festival. 
If you come onto the festival tab, you've got things like New Year's Eve, Christmas, Halloween, candlelight, and birthdays, things like that. There's honestly too many to list here. I wouldn't be able to go through them all. If you want to see a dedicated video on how to use the application and all of the functions, let's get this video to 50 likes and I'll make that happen. Another one of my favorite features is on this emotions tab and it's the stacking effect. It looks pretty cool, but I do have to be honest here. If you look at this closely, it appears to be stacking from the bottom instead of from the animation. I'm not sure whether this is something that I have wrong in the settings, like whether I have them set too fast or too bright, but it does appear like it's stacking from the bottom. I hope this can be fixed with an update, but like I said, it's nothing major anyway for me, but it's another one of my favorite effects. Now we're gonna take a look at the DIY effect. I absolutely love this and I think you guys might like this too. So if you create a Govi account and become a savvy user, you can create your own lighting effects and share them with the community. I'll show you how to do it here, but one of the most important things to note here is you get points for doing this. You can redeem those points for discounts in the Govi store or even save them up for products. I'll show you the basics of setting up a light theme and sharing it with the community. Okay then, so first select DIY. Then you wanna make a name for this DIY light, so we're just gonna go with test. You can also select an icon for it if you want, and you can also add it to a group if you want to, but we're just gonna keep it simple for this test. Then you choose whether you want it to be clockwise or anti-clockwise, cycle, breathe, etc. Then you can also choose the speed and the relative brightness. Then if we come a little further down, you can choose your solid colors or you have access to a color wheel for more accurate coloring. Then if you make a mistake, you can press backward arrow to go back one step or forward one step, which I think is an awesome feature because if you've spent a lot of time creating a theme and then you make a mistake at the end, it's good that you can just delete that mistake and not have to restart the whole theme again. I thought that was impressive. Then you've also got a rubber, so you can just literally use your finger to rub out the whole light scene that you've created. This is just by doing it manually. You can also do this automatically by getting recommended themes. Click on the recommended tab and then select whether you want it for work, leisure, gaming, etc. Then you pick the kind of style that you want, so we'll go with refreshing we'll also go with calm and then for color matching we'll go with color match enabled so complementary colors and then we'll ask it to configure that this is what it's given us a rainbow effect so we'll activate that see how it looks yeah i'm quite pleased with that it's a little slow so we'll speed it up in just a second then click apply and save then you click on the top button in the top corner to share this theme then you would name it and give it some tags. We'll just name it what it is. Complementary colors with a calm chaser effect. We'll use RGBIC as one of the tags. We'll also create a little video. So we'll just record a quick video of the scene. To record the video, you need to hold your finger down on the camera button. It will then show you the video back and then you select whether that's acceptable or not. Upload the video. And that is a demonstration of what other people are going to see in the community. That's fine for now. This is just a test. Select a thumbnail. Apply and it's been successfully submitted. You now gain points for this, so these points are savvy points, and these can be redeemed as discounts in the Govi store, or you can use them towards Govi products. I thought that was a really good feature. And finally, we're gonna take a look at the voice control and the music mode.
As you can see there, it responds to the music very well. I'm also going to give a quick demonstration of the voice functions now. Okay. Turn off neon rope light. Okay, turn on neon rope light. Sure, turning two lights on. Okay, change neon rope light to blue. Alright, changing two lights to blue. Okay, change neon rope light purple. Changing the neon rope light to purple. Okay. Change neon rope light to red. Okay, changing the neon rope light to red. Guys, I've got to be honest, I can't really find any faults with these, other than maybe the stutter on the stacking mode. I've heard a few people complain about the plug orientation. In the UK, that doesn't matter too much to us. And then the only other thing I would say is the sticky tabs. They only work very well once. If you try to reuse them, they don't work so well. So I would recommend getting yourself a roll of 3M sticky tape. But other than that, these lights are absolutely fantastic. And although they were sent out for review purposes, I would still highly recommend them. I'm not sponsored by Govi, although I do have affiliate link down below. Feel free to check that out if you want to get yourself a set of these lights. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here today. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other till next time i'm craig this is really random reviews and i'll see you in my next video